Hey, welcome back to uh, the Maker Show. Uh, this episode, I've been building a CNC machine, mostly out of a couple ladders my uh, neighbor had. Uh, they were condemned, so they were no good to use. Uh, just basically needed to be hacked into scrap. Uh, this is how far I've gone on the machine. I, these are three tough carts, uh, tough uh, benches and just the standard uh, particle board uh, top and then I reinforced it with a piece of half inch and then a piece of three eighths plywood on top of that to make them one solid unit. Uh, those are both glued uh, together and uh, stapled together with an air stapler. Um, when I built this part, the bridge out of a ladder part and this cross beam was uh, uh, soldered in with Aluma Weld, uh, stuff I got about 10 years ago when I thought, hell, and you're supposed to be able to uh, use a propane torch to weld it with or spraze it more accurately. Uh, I ended up having to go get a map torch uh, in order to have enough heat to heat up because it was a piece, big piece of aluminum. So. Uh, maybe if you had a really good propane torch, but I doubt it. Uh, smaller pieces, uh, no problem. It will uh, do. Um, and uh, around here, if you want to come around here, Chris. This is what's going to run the whole thing. This is an LT5000D Lodos uh, in, uh, inverter or a DC inverter air plasma cutter and uh, this thing uh, seems to be really good quality I uh, have been doing a little some test cuts on aluminum and stuff uh, this is uh, a consumable here and that will be replaced uh, when it's not working very well anymore uh, pretty nice heavy duty ground clip not the best one in the world but it's definitely serviceable uh, this is my uh, stepper motor driver that I put together this is out of a Dell 760 uh, small form factor computer and I uh, basically uh, gutted out the components of it and uh, put this driver board in and uh, I've wired each of the uh, uh, outputs up to these uh, uh, jacks up here. These are aviation jacks, uh, I think is what they call those. So I'll be able to hook the stepper motors right into there. On uh, the back side here, this will be for your uh, pendant control. And then this is your, uh, your limit switches and your e-stop and all that. Uh, this is the power supply they sent along with it, 24 volt, 8.3 amps. Uh, hopefully it'll run it. I've got some uh, one amp stepper motors uh, that I'm going to be doing uh, all the travels with. And then uh, these are two 760 computers here. Uh, one is running Linux CNC and the other one's running uh, Windows 7. So uh, I'm trying both systems. These are the stepper motors. Long stepper motor company. Uh, one amp. Uh, the uh, drivers in there will do up to I believe 4.5 amps so could uh, run a lot bigger stepper motors than these on that on that driver. Uh, other than that, uh, the uh, I do have most of the uh, the the middle carriage done, uh, but it's all disassembled right now to do some work on it. I'll have that in a later video, and uh, that's a good overview of uh, my CNC machine so far.